Hi guys, welcome to the Karen Krausen Photography YouTube channel. I'm just gonna jump right into this since the video is really short and there's a lot of information to read that I got off of the marker there located at this site. So it reads, Fort Elliott, established June 5th, 1875, was to help keep Native Americans on their Indian Territory reservations and was partially garrisoned by African American soldiers called Buffalo Soldiers by Native Americans. Various companies of the 9th and 10th Cavalry and the 24th and 25th Infantry were stationed at Fort Elliott in its 15-year existence. Typical post duties included patrolling the boundary between Texas and Indian Territory, keeping order among settlers, protecting mail coaches, and building roads and telegraph lines. Commanding officers of the troops were white, but the black soldiers were included in every part of daily and social post life. One black officer stationed at Fort Elliott was Henry O. Flipper, commissioned as a second lieutenant in 1877. Born of slave parents in 1856, he was the first black graduate of the United States Military Academy and the first black commissioned officer in the United States Army. Flipper embarked on a 40-year military and civilian career on the western border and frontier. In the fall of 1879, his regiment of the 10th Cavalry was ordered to Fort Elliott as post adjunct. Lieutenant Flipper served as the executive officer. All post business was transacted through him. Being educated as an engineer at West Point, one of his duties was to oversee building the telegraph line across the Canadian River to Fort Supply. The black soldier's role in clearing the Texas panhandle of Indians, outlaws, and rustlers may have been tedious sometimes, but was crucial to fulfill the goal of settling the West. Fort Elliott was abandoned in 1890 when Indians were no longer a threat and law and order was established by civilian courts. The original Fort Elliott flagpole now stands at the Mobiti Jail Museum, one and a half miles east of this marker. Several soldiers who purchased land here in the area homesteaded and are now buried in the Mobiti Cemetery. Also, so where this, I'm now done reading, um, where this sculpture is, there was also a little plaque and it reads, Near this site on September 12, 1874, Kiowa and Comanche fought Major W.M.R. Price at the Battle of Sweetwater Creek. And the guy that sculpted this um, arrow is Charles A. Smith. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, this really short um, video. Uh, if you do go by this area, it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, if you go in the summertime around July, there are a lot of stickers. It does look like it's brush hogged and mowed, but there are lots and lots of stickers. Um, but it was really neat to sort of stop and see this. There's a lot of birds <laughs> and it's really noisy, but it was still a really cool sight to see. So anyway, thanks again so much for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I will see you again on the next adventure.